Jetson 1 EV tall aircraft costs $92,000 and if you buy it today, your order will be delivered in 2023. On the other hand, the long-awaited Black Fly will hopefully be available to order at the beginning of 2022. These two extraordinary aircraft fall into the ultralight category, which means that there is no pilot license required to fly them. Also, both single-seat EV tolls will probably have a similar price tag. In this video, I will compare Jetson 1 and Openers Black Fly aircraft. I will explain the main differences between the two EV tall configurations and how they affect range and performance. Black Fly is a fixed tandem wing aircraft. Its size is considerably larger than Jetson 1. Black Fly is 2.8 times as wide and 1.6 times as long as Jetson 1. Black Fly is 5 feet high while Jetson 1 is 3.4 feet high. Although both aircraft are considered ultralight, Jetson 1 is 153 pounds or 70 kilograms lighter than Black Fly. Because of its limited range, portability will be an important factor to consider when buying these aircraft. Jetson 1 can be easily folded to a total width of 2.9 feet or 0.9 meters, whereas Black Fly can be disassembled to be transported and fits within a small trailer. Opener claims that the assemble of Black Fly is easy, and it only takes around 30 minutes. For short distances, a custom vehicle cart is provided to move the aircraft over unfinished surfaces. Jetson 1 is considered a multicopter type of aircraft. Multicopter is a relatively simple EV tall configuration. It is very efficient during takeoff, landing, and hovering due to low disc loading. However, as they are missing wings, multicopters lack cruise efficiency. In a typical flight mission, an EV tall spends around 90% of the flight time in cruise flight. Therefore, having lift generating wings can greatly improve energy efficiency. In my previous video, I compared the energy efficiency of the main EVTOL aircraft and I showed why in some cases EVTOLs are more efficient than electric vehicles. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the top right corner. In 2019, Marcus Ling, Opener's CEO and founder, received the Experimental Aircraft Association August Raspit Award in recognition of his contribution to the advancement of light aircraft design and technology innovation. Black Fly can be categorized as a tilt-body type of aircraft. The fixed tandem wings give lift during forwarding flight and improve cruise efficiency. Even though the propellers are fixed to the wings, the aircraft tilts forward during cruise flight and the thrust generated aligns with the flight direction of the aircraft. In this video, I explore the key aspects of Opener's Black Fly design. I'll link all the videos mentioned in the description. Each of these aircraft configurations has its advantages and disadvantages. Jetson 1 provides excellent controllability during takeoff, landing and hovering, but it is not efficient during cruise flight. On the contrary, Black Fly offers a better performance during forwarding flight, at the expense of a somewhat awkward takeoff, landing and hovering position. For the US market, both aircraft are software limited to 63 miles per hour or 102 kilometers per hour to follow the ultralight vehicle's regulation. Jetson offers 20 minutes of flight time, while Opener's aircraft can fly for 25 minutes with a 20% reserve. The maximum operator's weight is 200 pounds in the case of Black Fly and 210 pounds for Jetson 1. Opener offers an international version of Black Fly with no speed limitation and with a range of more than 40 miles. The American uh, vehicles have a 20 plus mile range for an operator that's uh, 200 pounds. In the United States, we're restricted to 62 miles an hour. In Canada, uh, we don't have those weight constraints and also we don't have speed constraints. Jetson 1 price is $92,000 and is delivered as a 50% assembled kit for home completion. The entire 2022 production of 12 aircraft is already sold out, but there are still a few units available for 2023 delivery. Black Fly price hasn't been disclosed yet, and although Opener stated that the aircraft will have the price of an SUV vehicle, 
the first units are likely to be a lot more expensive. Jetson 1 and Black Fly are both ultralight, and currently, most of the cost of the aircraft is due to labor. The aircraft are being built at a very slow pace. Once these two companies can set up production lines and automation to ramp up production, the price of both aircraft will come down a lot. Going forward, we're actually trying to target the general public. That's our target market. We want these vehicles to come in at a reasonable price, price of an SUV. Initially, we're manufacturing these in the most expensive real estate and labor markets in North America, Palo Alto, California. But we're setting in place automation and streamlining, and in the years to come, we're planning on building quite a few of these vehicles annually and at a reduced cost so we can provide the full market. We have to keep in mind that mass production is a lot harder than coming up with a prototype, and it could take many years before we see VTOLs at an affordable price. Building prototypes and flying prototypes is, is relatively easy. Uh, developing the manufacturing infrastructure to do mass production is very, very difficult. What eVTOL project are you more excited about? And which of these two aircraft would you buy? Let me know in the comments.